Vortex is a cloud gaming service that was made in Poland and currently has 15 data centers around the world. These data centers are in regions including the United States, Europe, Central and South America, Canada, and Southern Asia. We consider Vortex a middleware or pick up and play type of cloud gaming platform, similar to other platforms like GeForce Now and Boosteroid. In this video, we'll run through how to install the Vortex cloud gaming app on your Android device. If you're looking to get started with your Vortex account, click on the link above to check that video out. Okay, let's jump into the Vortex. To get started with Vortex on your Android device, we need to download the app. The best way to do this is by going to the Vortex website to download it. The Vortex website will send you to the Google Play Store to download it, so I have the link in the description to get the app directly from the Google Play Store. Feel free to click it and get started directly from there. Click on the install button to start your install to your Android device. Feel free to let it run its course. Also, be aware that this is an early access Android app and it's still in development. So as of now, you need to make sure that your Android is version 5.0 or better. Once the app is done downloading and installing, hit the open button to get started with the app. You do need to have a registered login and a subscription to play games on Vortex. Remember, Vortex is a pick up and play cloud gaming platform, so it allows you to play the games you actually own from third party distributors like Steam and Epic Games. Make sure you have your third party credentials handy, cause you'll need them. Once you log in with your Vortex account, you'll be forwarded to the dashboard. The dashboard is where you'll find all the games Vortex has to offer. Vortex has a list of their featured games, the most popular, recently added, and all the other game categories at the bottom. We're going to scroll up and start playing a crowd favorite, Grand Theft Auto V on the Steam platform. Choose the game that you want and hit the play now button to get that game started up. Now it will warn you that you will need to have a license to play this game. All that means is that you need to own it on Steam to play it. Make sure you do and hit proceed to continue. Your machine will then load up and the screen to enter your third party credentials will appear. Make sure you have your controller connected to play through Bluetooth or wired connection. If you don't have a controller connected, the Vortex app has an in-game controller as shown here. Use the in-game keyboard to enter your credentials by hitting the keyboard icon at the top of the app. If you are using Steam and you have Steam Guard, you'll be sent a verification code to verify that it is you since this is a new machine you are running your game on. Keep your email handy so you can retrieve that code, enter it, and you're good to go. Play the game as you would like on any other platform with the in-game controller or your connected gamepad. If you are using the in-game controller, note that you might have to get used to it. Playing with an actual gamepad will improve your game performance overall. Once you are done playing, use the hamburger icon to get you to the Vortex main menu. Here you will be able to change the quality of your stream, map your gamepad buttons to whatever you want to, enable the touchpad editor. You'll also be able to show the keyboard and of course, disconnect to exit the game. Hitting Disconnect will exit you out of the game and back you out to the game page of the app. Feel free to start up another game or exit the app altogether. The Vortex app is a great way to start playing your games in the cloud on any capable Android device. Remember, it is an early access so look for plenty of updates down the road. Be sure to subscribe to get the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming, including updates on Vortex. So stay tuned right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.